For this list we're looking at the most over-the-top violent comics to ever get published. Manga, however, will not. Because let's be honest, with the level of violence in some of those books, they really deserve their own list. Number 10. Invincible. Invincible is a superhero comic like few others. Under the creator-owned Image Comics banner, writers and artists have the opportunity to really push the envelope and take risks in ways they never could with the big two. In Invincible, Robert Kirkman draws heavily on classic superhero tropes such as the teenage main character, an alien origin story resulting in near-godlike levels of and more. Number 9. Spawn. Spawn has spawned a couple of adaptations over the years, neither the film nor the award-winning animated HBO miniseries managed to recreate the grotesque violence of their source material. The HBO series was certainly dark, never shying away from sexuality or violence, but even it had to dial things back. In the gritty 90s, dark and extreme themes were the order of the day, sometimes at the expense of storytelling. Number 8. Evil Ernie vs. Superheroes. Evil Ernie, the insane supernatural mass murderer, published by Chaos Comics, is not in his rogues gallery. Because when Ernie's involved, printing presses run out of red ink. Created by Brian Polito and Stephen Hughes in 1991, Ernie is pretty much evil incarnate. And in this comic series, the embodiment of evil looks a lot like a 80s metalhead, but you know, genocidal. Of all his various miniseries and one-shots, Evil Ernie vs. Superheroes is the most memorably violent. Number 7. Judge Dredd. With the law enforcement officers, known as judges serving as judge, jury and executioner, justice is swift and typically rather explosive. The comic has a long history of violence, with the chronicles of Judge Dredd and company spanning countless series, one-shots and miniseries since their 1977 debut in 2000. Number 6. Sin City. In a comic book world made up almost exclusively of high-contrast black and white, color is used sparingly to great effect. And more often than not, the color of choice is red. Arguably the greatest neo-noir comic ever made. Sin City revels in violent imagery. Death is common in the pages of this dark horse publication, and people rarely meet their demise in a clean or swift fashion. Number 5. Punisher Max. The Punisher has earned his name. Since making his debut in The Amazing Spider-Man Hashtag 129, he's killed countless criminals. But for most of his publishing history, the character has felt constrained or sold short by his place in Marvel Universe, where age-appropriate content is key that's inherently gruesome content. Finally, with Punisher Max, we got to see Frank Castle in all his glory. We got to witness what Frank does behind closed doors. Number 4. God is Dead. God is Dead was largely hated by fans and critics alike. That being said, what it lacks in substance, originality and storytelling it more than makes up for with gratuitous violence. The gods of various religious essentially throw down in a royal rumble. Published by Avatar Press, a company known for its particularly gory ongoing series, it delivers carnage of epic proportions. Forget the Nile, the entire planet is running red with blood in this comic. Number 3. Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass deserves a special nod for being the only title to really focus on children as the primary agents of carnage and mayhem. These kids are superheroes without powers, so they just pummel, slice and dice their enemies instead. If you've only ever seen the film adaptations, we highly recommend you pick up one of the trade paperbacks of this infamous series by Mark Miller. Number 2. The Walking Dead. After more than a decade of success and over 150 issues, The Walking Dead remains one of the best-selling monthly series. In a future where the dead walk the earth, as you can probably imagine, few people leave this world peacefully. While we've largely grown numb to the human-on-zombie and zombie-on-human violence, it's the brutal human-on-human -human violence that has really kept things interesting after all these years. Number 1. Crossed. Sometimes, the competition for our number one spot can be fierce. Other times, one candidate just blows all others away. In the case of Crossed however, it more likely maimed, mutilated, tortured and disemboweled the competition. Created by Garth Ennis, who has given us such violent masterpieces as Preacher, The Boys and the aforementioned Punisher Max series, comes this dystopian tale of a world perverted beyond repair.